Hey guys, today's video, I'm gonna test out vlogging using the iPhone 11. It's just the iPhone 11, it's not the iPhone 11 Pro, so I cannot test out the zoom lens in that camera, in that cell phone for you guys. But today, what I really wanted to test out is how shaky it is when I'm walking, talking, and vlogging like this. How clear the camera compared to the rear end versus the front camera in terms of vlogging because I know I came from iPhone 7 and I know I would never vlog using the front camera in iPhone 7 because it is too cropped and the quality is not as great as the rear camera. However, I heard that for this lineup, they bumped up the megapixels for the new iPhones this year from 7MP to um, 12 megapixels so it's the same as the back and the front so I hope I think obviously it's gonna be a better quality vlogging like this and it's also nice because you get to see yourself because before I would vlog back ways and I don't see myself which is fine you get used to it also one thing you'll notice that the first half of this vlog the aspect ratio is four by three or it's very very cropped like it's more square the reason why because I was vlogging using the photo because now you can start recording video in the photo tab setting in your camera and I didn't know that you could change the aspect ratio to 16 by 8 or something like that where it is very very wide and I didn't know you could change that so now I changed it and you can still record using the um, the photo setting in your camera tab so I suggest do that because it's just easier from photo to video video to photo instead of um, changing it from video to photo so yeah that's that's my tip if you want to record video using your photo in your camera setting do so however change the aspect ratio if you want to vlog with it to 16 by 8 or is that the aspect ratio 16 by 9 8 by 16 something like that anyway here's the vlog i hope you enjoy it and sorry for the first half it is the wrong aspect ratio but you'll see how stable it is while i'm walking and talking and how loud the volume of the microphone is how it picks up sounds and the contrast and color you'll see anyway enjoy so today's video we are testing out this iPhone 11 I'm gonna be vlogging with it all day and take you with me all day I don't really have much to do today half of my day is done already but actually I'm watching a concert tonight so it's perfect to vlog with it so we can test the night mode with video too because I know the photo already night mode is perfect so so today I'm literally just gonna be vlogging with my iPhone and my iPhone only so right now I'm using the front facing camera because it's 12 megapixel now, so before, when I vlogged with my iPhone before, I would only use the rear-facing camera because it has a better quality camera. But now, it's 12 megapixel now, so I can, I think, vlog with it now. So, I'll take you with me. We're just waiting for our food order. We're here at the Filipino. It's called Tinuno here in Toronto. I'm here with Janik. Hey. Oh, you can switch from wide to normal yeah. while we're still recording. Our food just arrived, so Janik, tell us your first. What do you think? It's good. Is it good? Oh my god, the camera quality. I, I can't wait to edit the footage. Okay, guys, so we just finished eating. Now we are just gonna continue vlogging, exploring, testing out this camera. I am mainly testing this camera or this new iPhone with a wide angle camera, mainly for myself, because like I said, this is gonna be my second vlogging camera if it's possible so what I'm testing here right now is how wide is wide so as you can see that is wide and I'm happy that I can look at myself in the viewfinder or the screen because before I would always want to vlog using the rear camera because it's better but now it's 12 megapixels so it's good and I'm also testing how shaky it is when I'm walking it's probably passable probably okay but we'll figure that out later we all know that the slow motion is not gonna be so slow mo because it's only 60 frames per second however we can do the slow motion I think here or the slow fee I hate the slow fee I don't I don't like that word the slow fee what do you think of the slow fee <laughs> it'll take some time to get it'll take it. some time yeah but you know Apple are such influencers everybody would want to buy the product and you use the words that they're saying I can't try the telephoto because I have no iPhone 11 Pro I don't have the third camera oh I'm just curious as well how windy is windy because you know how when, when it's so windy you'll hear the wind gushing so I want to know if that is minimizing the new iPhones 
um, yeah, that's it about it. So I'm just gonna walk, take some B-rolls of the scenery like I normally would. Do some wide shots. Oh, let's try the walking shot as well. How shaky it is when I'm walking forward. But so far, I like it. I like it. So now I'm gonna continue vlogging using the video setting on the camera. The downside, however, I noticed right away is there is a crop factor, but it's still wide. The seven before, when I try to vlog with the front facing, it'd be like this. But now, it's still wide, it's manageable. But how's the stabilization? I'm literally walking and this is my fast paced walking. And if it's stabilized enough, that's probably why there's a crop factor because it's stabilized more in video setting. So hopefully that's better. Yeah, so this is as far as my arm could go. So if you use the video setting in your camera, it's not really that wide. However, I think this is the proper video. So the one that I was using earlier, I don't think that was proper. The aspect ratio of the frame, I don't think it's the right aspect ratio because it's a lot squarer than this one because this one's more rectangular. But we'll find out later. I'll post in the comments my final thoughts as opposed to this. See, I really don't know if the footage is still the same or if it's the right frame aspect ratio even. We'll find out when I'm editing. Hey guys, so I just also would like to add that this is the back rear end camera i haven't really tested this out during my vlog earlier and this is how wide it is so technically it is 13 millimeter this is literally my arm reach like wide can you change it back Fine. tap the button to change it back to normal this is the normal angle right now of the camera and if you change it back to wide this is how wide it is do you see the difference yes how wide is it oh is gosh. it so wide it's like switching two different cameras yeah also, it's, it's a bit windy. It's not so windy, like my hair is not moving, but I can feel the wind. I'm not sure if you can hear that as well in the camera, but... Depends on the microphone. Depends on the microphone. So yeah, this is the vlogging camera. I, I was editing some of the footage already and I love the quality of it. So this is my final thought of it. Um, um, I didn't really take a lot of videos at the concert. I know I said I went to the concert, but one thing that I really, really noticed is it is a lot better than my vlogging, regular vlogging camera in terms of stabilization. Like when I'm walking, it's like in, it's like it's in a gimbal and this is me walking, shaking. So yeah, this is me walking as well with the wide angle. I'm not sure if this is still, you know. It has, it has optical stabilization. So the camera yeah, inside is that. moving. Yeah, so anyway, it's a great camera. It's a great investment. I'm happy I bought it as a second vlogging camera. I, I even think this is just gonna be my setup because it's better than my vlogging camera. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is very informative and you learned something from this video. And if you're thinking of buying the iPhone, I highly recommend it. Um, if you are saving a lot of money, go ahead, buy. There's a lot of cars. 
if say if you're saving a lot of money go ahead buy the iphone 11 only not the pro because there's not much difference really and if you're a vlogger like me if, if you're planning to use the phone for vlogging or for like second hand vlogging camera i'm not sure if you can hear the wind because i can feel the wind um so if you're looking to buy as a second vlogging camera or a main vlogging camera this would be the best one because it's very wide it's great for travel which i'm gonna be doing next year this channel is gonna be all about travel vlogs next year um the channel in general is gonna be a travel channel anyway go ahead buy the phone it's amazing if the pro is too expensive for you don't buy the pro <laughs> just get the 11 and the main difference for the camera wise is there's a third camera which is mainly for telephoto but i don't really think i need a telephoto right now because I don't know we'll see anyway how do you like the quality how do you like the stabilization i hope it's very informative thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time